Welcome to the Toyota Football for Tomorrow training tips. Let's get started. Toyota Football for Tomorrow empowers youth with skills in football and beyond to enjoy the thrill and joy of moving together and to believe in the possibilities of tomorrow. This is inspired by Toyota's vision to provide the freedom of mobility to all. This video series will feature renowned coaches and former Japanese national football players from Nagoya Grampus, a football club founded by Toyota back in 1939 and is now one of the top J-League football clubs in Japan. Over the years, Toyota has worked with Nagoya Grampus to conduct youth football clinics in Southeast Asia and looks forward to spreading the joy of football through these virtual football lessons. By bringing the program online, we hope to bring the thrill and joy from the stadiums to our homes. Hello everyone, my name is Motohiro Yamaguchi. I supervise the football operations for Nagoya Grampus Football Club. Today, I will be introducing some ball passing drills. Football is played by 11 players. These players must pass the ball smoothly to score goals. So passing is one of the most important football skills to master. Let's get started. There are three areas to concentrate on. Your kicking foot, your plant foot, and your body. First is the plant foot. The plant foot should be positioned next to the ball. If it is in front of the ball, it will be difficult to kick. And if it is behind the ball, it will be difficult to balance. Now, let's take a closer look at the plant foot. Next is your kicking foot. Make sure to create a flat surface to kick the ball firmly. If you do not tap the ball correctly, it will not move straight. Look at where you want to kick the ball and kick it firmly to your teammate. Lastly, focus on your body. The upper body should be relaxed and upright. If you are not upright and leaning back when kicking the ball, your body will be out of balance. Same goes to leaning forward too much. Keep these three points in mind as you practice kicking the ball. Once you are able to do these well, focus on trapping the ball as well. Trap the ball so that it stops in a position where it is easy to kick quickly. During this drill, we demonstrated the importance of focusing on your plant foot, your kicking foot, and your body. The kicking foot should come in contact with the center of the ball. The plant foot should be placed next to the ball firmly. Keep your upper body relaxed and upright to maintain a good balance. Concentrate on these three points as you practice. Let's get started on the next drill. Passing the ball while you are on the move. In the last drill, the players were passing the ball while standing still. But in football, you are constantly moving. It will be difficult at first, but once you get the hang of it, it will get easier. Let's give it a try. While you are on the move, 
The key is to pass the ball accurately so that your teammates do not have to change their running speed. For example, if your teammate is running fast, do not pass the ball behind them. Instead, time the pass so that it reaches their foot in their stride. Similar to the previous drill, make sure to trap the ball well as this will allow you to pass the ball more accurately. Let's have a look. See how their upper bodies are relaxed? If you are tense, it will be difficult to maintain control and pass the ball accurately. Let's try again. That was a drill on passing while you are on the move. But the essentials are the same. Proper positioning of your plant foot, kicking the ball firmly in the center, and keeping your upper body relaxed and balanced. While moving, make sure your pass reaches your teammate while they are in mid-stride. Not behind them or too far in front. The next step is to make direct passes without trapping the ball. Once you are able to do this, both players should try direct passing. Give it a try! The third drill will focus on passing the ball when it is in the air. In football, the ball is often off the ground, so it is important to learn how to pass in these situations. There are a few things to pay attention to. The first is the kicking foot. Make sure your foot contacts the center of the ball. If your foot does not contact the center of the ball, your pass will not be accurate. Next is the plant foot. As you can see, when kicking the ball, you will only have your plant foot on the ground. So make sure your leg is not fully extended. Slightly bend your knee. Let's have a look. Also, make sure your upper body is relaxed and do not lean forward or backward. If your upper body is leaning backwards, you will not be balanced. If your body is leaning forward, the pass will aim downwards to the ground. Make sure to aim at the player's chest when passing the ball. This is an example of when the kicking foot does not contact the center of the ball. As you can see, you will not be able to pass the ball accurately. Kick the center of the ball and make sure the knee of your plant foot is slightly bent, not locked. Maintaining good upper body posture is very important. Make sure you are not leaning too far backwards. If you do, the ball will move too far up. Keep your upper body relaxed and aim at the player's chest. That is the end of the training on how to pass the ball. How did you do? It may be difficult at first, but if you work on the three key points, you will improve quickly. Remember, always focus on your kicking foot, plant foot, and your body.